So I totally didn't expect this, but I'm playing a humble game and um, I'm at, with a lot of health there and um, that's the boss, that's the final boss and he's only at 24, which is super epic because over here, oh I didn't have my turn yet, I'm a little too excited I guess. Let me have my turn, you'll see, it's, it's, oh, I've got, I'm, I'm going to win, I'm finally going to win this game. Humble is here too by the way, <gasps> here's the cards. Vampire's Curse. We're waiting for the other one. We're waiting for Big Bang. <gasps> there it is. Because you see this one does 30 damage. And so with this we'll deal the final blow. Oh! I've just won! Big Bang. There it goes. Big Bang. There goes the numbers. It's going down. It's slow, but it's going down. There it is. That's zero. Zero, zero. <laughs> What? Defeated? There's fireworks and everything. Ow. The rain is kind of there. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! With 10 attempts. This is my 10th attempt. Ptipita, it's hard to say those words. Oh, okay, let's go see what our rewards are. We got a lot of coins. Whoa, that's a lot of coins. That's a lot of coins. Oh, what? Well, okay, well, yeah. That is a lot of stuff. Let me show you the deck that I that I was playing. I only had five cards in here. Bandage, which heals you for two health. The bonfire, which is free to play and gives you two mana. We've got big bonk, which is three. Costs three to play, but does 30 damage. And vampire's curse, which is really cool. Because it will you will gain the HP equal to the damage that you dealt. And of course the damage is big bonk, is 30, so I Pretty much always was above the 100, almost. And then of course there's this trophy that I get to display now everywhere. I haven't made a proper room for it, but I, I guess until I, I did I can make it, I put it on, on my head here. Now we need to go over here to the Cave of Records and see how many turns we took. 25. For the record, I think it should only be 24 because I broke the game halfway through this attempt. And um, I accidentally played another turn. But for this record, I am going to just put in 25. Oh, I'm so excited about this. We're going to make a, a home for this trophy here. That's so cool. Whoosh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Arcadia, where I found out what this sunflower is about. And it turns out it has got nothing to do with the pranks from last episode. Turns out it was just Catlord saying hi, which is always nice. Hello, right back to you, Catlord. How are you doing? Now, as you just saw, I beat Frost Wind's Fury, and I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I got so excited, in fact, it was late at night, I just logged off, and I didn't claim my prizes. So, um, I need to do that still. I have some coins to, to exchange. Those coins must be turned into cards. Uh, are you putting all the 21 coins in in one or do you? I think I'm going to go for three, where I put seven in. Oh, and it started raining too. Perfect timing, because we're going inside. <laughs> First seven. I've already got this one. I okay. don't have Ender Beer yet. Then get Ender Beer. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Said that and now he's losing with that. Probably. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Ender Beer. Nice. Alright, alright, let's try again, let's try again. Seven more. Oh, I... Uh, this isn't even a question, really. What do you mean, big bonk again? Of course, you gotta have a big. You gotta have multiple big bonks. Last seven. Let's I mean, I would go for martial training, but most because I don't have that card yet. <laughs> well, honestly, that card really would work really well in the deck with Vampire's Curse and Big Bonk, right? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I don't think it could hurt. Okay. <laughs> now I've got three really cool cards. Good job. Yes, I'm happy. Whoosh. You've built a base for me at your base, right? Yeah. And I figure it's only fair if you then get to build a base at my base. Yeah. I, I think the, the clouds could do with another cloud. Yeah. No, you can't have the you can't have the cloud be lonely. It's been happening to me a lot on the server for some reason, but people are inviting me to live in their bases. 
<laughs> I figure it's only fair well, if we just um, expand and uh, and uh, return the favor. <laughs> well, um, it, in my opinion, it's an open invite, but I haven't really heard t from too many. But you can't just stand up here and be like, come build a cloud, <laughs> okay. and then expect people to know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's quite how it works. Okay, okay, okay. I'm <laughs> going to I'm going to think of something then. <laughs> that's epic. I'm really looking forward to what you're going to build here. Me too. Well, then I think I'm going to get started. Awesome. I'm going to get out of your way then. I want to be surprised. Whoosh. While Triss is doing that, I cannot help but feel as though she is a little bit right. You cannot just stand on your cloud and say, well, I can't build here and then hope people will hear. So I am going to put up a little advertising billboard, I guess. That is to say, I don't think we already have one. If we have one, it would be over here. I don't think there's any form of advertising billboard here. We got some community stuff over here. Got a lot of lag as well. <laughs> Not really seeing a place where you can put your own ads. Hello. Um, what's a good place for it then? I mean, the nether portal is pretty... What is this? Okay, distractions later. The nether portal over here is a pretty central spot, so this might be a good place. Maybe just in here, actually. Doesn't have to be too big, though we don't have too much space here. What's going on here? What is this? Okay, it's weird. There's flashing items. There's nether stars and diamonds that I've seen. Of course, now it's not doing it anymore. Oh, there it goes. What? I don't know what that is. Somebody's doing black magic on the server. Maybe we can just put it over here. This would be a good spot. Yeah, okay. It's not going to be anything too fancy. It doesn't have to be, I don't think. I mean, just a bunch of trapdoors like this. Oh, I want more trapdoors, though. And then we can just flip all of these open. And then we can go to sleep because it's night. That is ugly. <laughs> I've put something ugly here in the shopping district. Oh no. Honestly, I think it would work if it just add a little extra to it. Makes it very big, but that's fine. Since when do you only get two of these? That wasn't always the case, was it? I don't know. Does this look like it would be a good advertising board? I think it's good enough. Good enough for our intentions anyway. And I'm not seeing this going wrong. Anybody flipping all the trapdoors up and down? Absolutely fine. All right, let's put some signs up. It's the Community Advertising Board, also CAB for short. And the first ad that's coming on here is this. Come build your cloud at my cloud, Percy. I think that should be clear enough, don't you think? There we go, we got an advertising board and I put my ad on it. Now I really want to go see what the mystery build is over there. What is this? These are those items that were glitching into there. I don't think it really is just a glitch and not some kind of magic. Press me. What? I'm not gonna press some random button. Do you get a prize if the lights are low enough? Even worse, does it explode if all the lights get on? Wait a second. Oh, no, I think that's the answer there. I think it will explode once all the lights turn on. What's going on? Who's made this? Who's crazy enough to put an explosive device in the shopping district? Right next to Humble's thing as well. That's going to go. That's the first thing that's going to go. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty far away. Oh, that was a beep. Did another light turn on? Is that what that beep is? I don't know. I don't think so. But that building is going to go boom at some point. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm so tempted to press it though. I don't think I'll get anything. I think these lights will just reset if I press it. Can I go in? No, I'm not a price. Okay. I think that we should keep our eyes on this thing for a little while. Maybe we can get some diamonds out of this. And you know what? Maybe we don't, but that's perfectly fine. I'm going to try and make sure it doesn't explode. What do you think, Wood? Should we... Okay, we're going over there then. Just, just go away. <laughs> Alright, so I am again playing Frostwind Fury. I'm getting pretty far. I've just defeated the Enderman, which means I'm now on to the final boss, the Ravager over there. The reason I'm bringing you in is because this is a very special run that I'm doing here. I'm trying to do a speed run. What that means is I'm trying to defeat it in as few turns as possible. Now, this is the turn counter. 
As you can see, I'm at nine. And there are a grand total of ten bosses. So, Ooh. you finally reached me. Try your best, challenger. Oh, I will, don't worry. Basically, it means that I've only taken one turn for each of the bosses. Which I'm pretty sure is the bare minimum. So if I get this turn right, then that means... <laughs> that's a lot of health. Then it means I will have defeated it in the least amount of turns possible. Now that... Puts me in qualification for, what is it, this prize over here. And I think I want that prize. So that's why I'm bringing you in. And so let's see if we can beat it in one turn. Do we get good cards here? Ooh, this is not really the best that we could have. I'm going to play a sacrifice. A sacrifice is free to play however you lose 6 HP. It's the only reason I have gotten this low on my HP. But we get 2 mana and 3 cards. Now these are the cards that I was hoping for. Late plans and big bonk. Late plans will deal 7 damage. I don't really care about that but it will return the next played card to, the, to my hand here. So let's put that in. And the card that I'm playing after this is Big Bonk. Now this is the card that my deck is built all around. It will deal 30 damage. Now my strategy is to try and recycle my mana as much as possible. All so that I can play this card over and over and over again. And I should be able to then defeat every boss in just one single turn. Big Bonk. Big Bonk. <laughs> oh, we're at the final boss and I'm only now starting to realize a flaw in my system. Sacred well. For the final boss that's so much health, I don't think I'll be able to retrieve all the cards unless I'm really, really lucky. Because I really need a late plans here. That's important. But this preparation card is my last preparation card. And so I will get a sacred well and a late plans because those are in the system right now. And so I can do one more turn, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do another one after this. We may not get speedrunner after all. I must play a Sacred Well, I simply must, because I won't be able to play this combo if I don't. Just put in late plans, and there goes Big Bonk. We'll bring him down to 13, which gives me another Big Bonk and a Sacred Well at the end here, which is perfect, because I can play one more Sacred Well over here, which restores my mana to three and that's exactly how many we need to play big bunk which is 30 damage is more than 13 basically i have just won there it goes the final blow <laughs> take that ravager take that humble i just speed ran your game big bonk big bonk wow with absolutely no mana left i have truly exhausted my deck and it was just enough to beat him and i could be happier of course it starts raining. Why wouldn't it start raining right when I win? It always does. Oh, it's a thunderstorm as well. What? What in the world? What in the world? I'm not prepared for this. No. 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 What's happening? This is not good. I'm winning here. Stupid skeletons. Oh my... Uh, ender chest, I need my ender chest, I need to run. Oh, this is not... <laughs> what in the world? How would that even happen? Let me grab my better gear. <laughs> Let's heal up a little bit before we tackle them. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, they killed one of the horses. Die. Oh, well that works. Um, where did the other horses go? Let's go sleep this thunderstorm away. Well, I think I've got all of my stuff. I don't know where those horses went though. Well, uh, first things first, first I guess, let's check the book or the counter. We have indeed got 10 turns, which is epic. Let's take the book and let's note it down. There we go, Tooth and Gwen also did it in 10 turns. Okay, there we go, Percy, 10 turns today on the 13th game. Oh, let's see the rewards we got. I completely forgot about that too. We got another one of these, which is cool. I mean, I got a couple now, they're, they're not that shiny anymore. Ooh, another Creeping Terror, that's a really cool card. Or do you always get it? I don't know, I think it's a cool card. Of course, on the first two tries, I get cards that I've already got. And on my final go, I get two cards that I don't already have. 
I don't have iron wall yet. I don't have defending strike yet. Which means that I'm walking out with these three cards. Reckless Charge, Ender Beer, and Iron Wall. I'm pretty happy with that. And for those curious, I won't go over all of them. But this is pretty much all the cards that I have now. And this here is the deck that I played. Whoosh! Tris. Hello! Oh, over there! All the way over there! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello! I was I was purposely oh. trying to not look because I, but this is so cool oh and I fell off yeah yeah well you know it's a little bit different uh, difficult to get from cloud to cloud so it's more of a you have to fly and hope you hit the hole yeah I think so <laughs> <laughs> oh I see oh, you got well, wings out here <laughs> well you know you have your bells for your shoes I have a place for you to hang your wings <laughs> and your back. oh I love it mm. oh my goodness this is so nice. Yeah. Feels super cozy. Mm -hmm. And I see you really wanted to keep the blue skies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, a little bedroom, it's not much more than a person really needs. Exactly. I, I was supposed to put something on there for you to sit, but you know. Oh. <laughs> <couch. laughs> oh, I got a chicken out of nowhere. Did you have a chicken somewhere? I don't know where that came from. I genuinely don't know where I suddenly have a chicken in my inventory. <laughs> no, for real, is that something you did? <laughs> was it in here? Yeah, I threw it in the cauldron. I hope, <laughs> I hope it would despawn. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe you were um, brewing a, a chicken broth. No, chicken not soup. Yet. <laughs> I, I do have fish waiting to be cut and cooked. Here, I've got a. Um, a home warming gift. Oh, thank you. Um, you're just supposed to throw it on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There! Yay! Now we can sit! What's that there? That's the fins. Uh, you know, it has to be able to swim. Wait, wait, wait. Like a little fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, wait. I want to look from, from the top. <gasps> oh, you I see. You might have to look... From the side. Okay, okay. I need to land this because I'm out of rockets. Okay. That looks so cool though. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the concept. Did you see what mine looks like from the side? From uh, from like Corn's base. You can see that it kind of looks like the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro? The Apple Vision Pro. Like if you go if you go to Corn's base, you can see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to you don't do have wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I we're going to do a little rescue mission, I think. Whee! Oh gosh, that was <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I brought your wings for you if you want them. Thank you. <laughs> do you want to know how many times I've forgotten my boots in in your place? <laughs> Probably as many times as I'm gonna walk that up <laughs> there, blinking at him. Oh my <laughs> goodness, that from here that looks so cool. It's like the fish is flying into my portal. Yeah. Can you uh, see what kind of fish it is? I think it's a whale. Yeah. Which kind of also means that it's not really a fish. It swims. Whoosh. Look, the community advertising board. Cab. is catching on. We've got three other advertisements over here. We can get mountainside houses for free at Silver's. I've already got one of those. So that's not really relevant for me. We can get an apartment at Azunti's ancient city. I've already got one of those too. Reminds me I need to decorate it still. And then we can also get something at Tooth's base, I think. I don't have that yet. We may just have to reach out to Tooth for that. That might be fun. I'll have bases at so many people's bases. What? But this is it for today's episode. Oh boy, was it a good one. We've got Triss building a will right behind us. And we've put out the ad for others to come join her and make more clouds over here, which would be epic. Of course, we've also bitten Frostwind Fury a couple of times now. And so we may actually have to build something to display our trophies. Maybe some of the very special cards as well. But for now, I hope that you've enjoyed. Remember, you are amazing. So please go do something amazing for yourself right now. And I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye.